Greetings, I'm Carl LeBlanc here representing Young Audiences Incorporated where visual artists, actors, spoken word, and musicians travel around to schools and present programs for education and recreation. I call my programs informances, like informative performance. The fundamentals of music, songs of my people, history of jazz, Louisiana sketches. These are a few of the programs that I present in order to help your students incorporate fun into education. A song that was uh, written by some friends of mine, the Neville Brothers, recorded by them. Sort of like a reggae song. Talking about history. Thank you, Miss Rosa. You are the spark. Started our freedom movement. Thank you, Sister Rosa Parks. Thank you, Miss Rosa. You are the spark. Started our freedom movement. Thank you, Sister Rosa Parks. On December 1st, 1955, our freedom movement came alive. Thanks to Sister Rosa, you know, we don't ride on the back of the bus no more. Now, Sister Rosa was tired one day after a hard day on her job. And all she wanted was a well-deserved rest, not a scene from an angry mob. The bus driver said, lady, you got to get up. A white person wants his seat. And Sister Rosa said, no, not no more. I'm going to sit right here and rest my feet. Thank you, Miss Rosa. You are the spark. Started our freedom movement. Thank you, Sister Rosa Parks. Thank you, Miss Rosa. You are the spark. Started our freedom movement. Thank you, Sister Rosa Parks. Well, the police came without fail and took Sister Rosa off to jail. Fourteen dollars was a fine, but Martin Luther King knew it was our time. The people from Montgomery sat down to talk, decided that all God's children should walk. Segregation was brought to its knees, and we demand freedom and equality. So come on, thank you, Miss Rosa. You are the spark. Started our freedom movement. Thank you, Sister Rosa Parks. Thank you, Miss Rosa. You are the spark. Started our freedom movement. Thank you, Sister Rosa Parks. And at that point, thank you, thank you.